Davy Skills back again with another Skippy track guide. This time we're in Montreal at the Gilles Villeneuve circuit, a great track with lots of combination turns and a big old straight to get some high speed action in. Let's break this baby down. Quickly before we do get started, I'd like to provide everyone with the setup I've used here. This is also available to download in the description down below along with the black file and basic instructions of how to use or install them. Now that's out the way, we can get started. Crossing the line in 4th gear, I like to leave it in 4th approaching turn 1. I'm looking to spot my braking point. I use the third bit of tarmac or escape road as my marker. It's very easy to use and very consistent. We brake hard down to second gear, apply a touch of throttle to stop the car from spinning if you need to, and you turn in and continue to trail brake. You want to glance the kerb on the inside and keep as far left as possible on exit. A short stab on the throttle and we're into Virage Center. Drop it down to first gear, trail brake a lot here and keep it tight. You're looking to get on the power as early as possible. No messing around either, full power straight away. If you get this right, you should be shifting up to second gear before you exit the turn. Heading into turn three, we take the shortest distance possible and spot our braking point. I use the one board for reference. As you can see, there isn't much else you can use here. We brake hard initially and drop it down to second gear. We're looking to take a fair bit of kerb on the inside and apply the throttle before you do get to the kerb. We'll keep it smooth. Don't go full power until you're off the kerb. Immediately into turn four, we're full power and looking to take another chunk of kerb on the inside. I shift up to third gear and lift off the throttle as the car becomes unsettled by the kerb. This helps to keep the car stable and also helps you avoid hitting the wall on exit. Quite useful. The next braking zone is turn six. There's some tyre marks on the track that I use as my braking point, braking just after they start. We're going all the way down to first gear. Again, we're going to take a bite out of the kerb on the inside, so bear that in mind when you're applying the throttle. Keep it smooth. Lift up to second gear, then turn hard into turn seven. Keep it tight to the inside for as long as possible. Now up through the gears as we head into turns eight and nine, arguably the most awkward combination on the track for me. The sausage kerbs on the inside make it a nightmare. Brake just after the grass ends on the left, drop it down to second gear and as usual, trail brake as you turn in. Get on the power early and as you can see, I take a whole load of kerb on the inside. I don't think this is ideal, but it's still fast so we get away with it. For turn 9, you're going to want to crank the wheel to the left and if like me you hit the sausage kerb here too, you may need to ease off the throttle to keep the car from ploughing into the wall on exit. After somehow making it through unscathed, we're on to Lepingle. I've no idea if I've said that right, and I'm regretting committing to the correct corner names already. Anyway, brake hard just after the two board, all the way down to first gear. Try to avoid the temptation to turn in early here. There is a long straight afterwards, so we need to maximise our exit speed and get that late apex. When you do turn in, fully commit, turn the wheel hard and trail brake. Clutching the kerb here isn't the worst thing. It will add to your rotation, sometimes too much, but nothing we can't handle. The important thing is to get back on the power as soon as possible. Then we're up through the gears and onto Casino Straight. Whilst on the casino straight, you're preparing yourself for the send of all sends. The biggest YOLO corner, you don't want to think about it too much, but you can't get the wall of champions out of your head. Fingers crossed you don't get too friendly with it. But here we go. Braking hard in between the three and two boards, we drop it down to third gear, turn in and hold onto the brake for just a smidge longer before applying the power. Remember to keep the power smooth as we're in for a bumpy ride. Smash into the first sausage kerb, then when all four wheels are back on the ground go full power again, then bang. Smash into the second sausage kerb and go half throttle until your car is settled again. If by this point you haven't ended up in the wall then congratulations, you've survived. Shift up to 4th gear and cross the line with a time of 154.397. So there we have it. If you did enjoy the video, please hit that like, subscribe button, all that good stuff. Thanks very much for watching. The uninterrupted chase cam and cockpit laps will play through now. Catch you guys next time.